on this edition of the AudioCat channel. Now y'all get to hear the baby turn on and chop. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Cruz, taking us the audio cat here with another day, another video. Didn't bring you a lot of it because I'm actually very busy, so this is the downside of being a YouTuber. You got to try to make time. So I was doing something. I said, let me intrude y'all with what I'm doing. I got an 87 Fox body that we're actually building a stroker. We took it from a 302 to a 331 stroker. We did a Ford performance cam. We're doing uh, Icon pistons. We're doing uh, pretty much the whole build, man. It can be a stroker kit. And it's gonna be pretty amazing. I'm in the process right now of installing the pistons. I already put the rings. I got the rods on the pistons. So I already did the installation of the rods. As y'all can see here, look y'all. I got the rods. I already put the piston uh, pins in it. I got all the seals installed. Now I'm in the process of installing them into the vehicle. So y'all wonder what can't the audio cat do? I don't know, man. If it's automotive, I think we can do everything automotive. This was actually for a personal friend of mine. Um, he wanted us to do this for him personally. I built my Nova and I said, okay, so. This what I'm doing now is trying to get these pistons installed real quick. Y'all. Pretty cool tool. Make sure she's tight. Make it flat. And we have a lock piston. Gotta take it out again. Stay tuned. Screw, screw. So at this point in time, we got the pistons in place. Now we're going to be installing the crankshaft of this car, so we had just released the bolts. We took this to the machine shop, they did the boring out for us and all that um, to make it a 331. We are now going to be taking off the main caps, uh, installing the bearings to the uh, pistons and to the crankshaft to get this roll in. I'll show you in a second. To get an update, I've already installed the main, uh, the main rod bearings. I put some grease on them, now I'm going to install the piston bearings. Um, and get those grease stuff to be able to install the crankshaft. So that's the next step on this build. But you know, I just finished saying I hate vlogging because I'm trying to work, but I have to get this for y'all done, man. But it's, it's just part of the process. I just at this point in time installed all the bearings on there. Now I got the grease and now I'm about to put in the crankshaft. So that's my next part. Oh, right, yeah. So what I know what I'm doing is I'm torquing. I got these down in the center torque down, which are the piston connecting rods from the piston to the crankshaft. Whoops. From the piston to the, uh, the rods. These are already torqued down. I am actually doing the main caps right now to be able to get this crankshaft installed in the car. Got my macro tools. So going down to uh, 65 pounds. So right now you can see that I'm getting me, right now I'm at around 55. So I'm pretty much close to it. But I'm just giving it some spins as I'm tightening it down. I'm giving it some spins so we can actually um, keep on rotating and everything. Cause it's like a brand new assembly and uh, get everything moving. We got some grease in there and all that to make sure it stays greased up. But we're in the process of torquing it down to get the block built for Trey and get this Mustang on the road. Stay tuned. What you doing now, Jay? I'm doing the torquing on the main bolts, main caps. Check them. Perfect. So now we got the, so now that I got the torque and the connecting rods and the caps. I'm going to start now assembling the bottom of the vehicle, which is going to be your oil pump and the oil pan, start putting the timing chain, putting the heads on, and uh, getting this car together for Mr. Trey. So we got this torque down. This is gonna be a beautiful car, and it feels good to have my hands on it to build it, man, but uh, we're gonna get it going, man. So stay tuned if we keep on building this Trey Mustang. All right, Cruz, Cruz, at this point in time, I'm at the point, I already got timing chain on. The timing chain cover, just put the new seal here. I'm getting this all, see, I'm gonna wipe this all down, clean it up, get the new gasket aligned there, to pop in the front, and I can start putting this block from the bottom side, putting the lower, I uh, already got the oil pan. Let me show you, not the oil pan, y'all, but oh, the oil pump, she's good to go. Uh, now I'm gonna start putting everything together. Ready for trade, man, Trey, it's coming. 
All right, Cruise Crew, so I got the timing chain installed, I got the front end installed, I got the new gaskets on the front and the rear. This car has two, two, um, two gaskets, one here and here, so I put them both on there for them. Front main seal is done, gaskets are here, oil pump is sealed. Now I'm getting to ready to pop in his uh, original thing. I actually bent these out because sometimes they get bent with time, but I just want to make sure we don't have no issues with it, but I'm about to drop this in here and make sure that everything aligns. And there's a hole missing, so I gotta take this out and get this fed here. Make sure that everything aligns. All my alignment points are good. Another one missing here. Another one missing here. One and boom. And making sure everything can be perfect. Slide this underneath here. I got the same effect over here. And now get the tightening, the, sorry, the oil pan. Put it over and start sealing up the 5.0 for Trey, AKA Vanilla Ice. Stay tuned, y'all. Bob, so tell us what you're doing right now. We got the heads on already. We're about to torque the heads down. We're about to do the valve. What are you doing, Pops? I'm gonna clean up. Uh the what you call it? What's the what you call it? What you call it? When you put the what you call it on, <laughs> that's the New York thing, y'all. But it's the gasket, so we had to clean up all this stuff. Battle Cat actually helped us too, but we got the cleaning out. We're cleaning out the gasket area so we could apply the new headers and everything on there. Now I'm gonna go through the process of torquing all these bolts. And just so y'all know, there is a way to do everything. So I got the paperwork, thanks to all data, and. That's the torquing sequence we're gonna to use to torque and everything down. So you can see it tells you which bolt to go number one, then two, and then so on and torque them down. The foot pounds is 23 to 25 pounds. My valve clearance is 0.96. So right now I'm gonna work on this part here doing the torque and uh, get this going on this bad boy. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I'm torquing everything down. We did the first three torques. I'm bringing it down to the finale now. Can I take care of that now? Can I take care of that now? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna torque down the heads, then I'm gonna do the lashing on the valves and I'll be getting that rolling, so. Next thing is heads. This head is torqued down. Same process, I'm gonna follow on the other side and start getting this bad boy together, man. I'm excited, man. I mean, it's not my car. You know, I'm also a customer, but I love when I put my hands onto it, man, because it makes it uh, more of a personal experience. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be the first one to turn her on. I'll be the first one to drive her. And uh, it's a pretty cool. And I was the first one to race this car. If you didn't watch the videos, when he first bought this car, he brought it to the shop and Josh had a 5.0 RS Camaro from the same year. We went out to Mexico. And we did a street race and the 5.0 was the winner, you know, just simple as that. So, <laughs> to get the chance to build her and uh, see her come to another greatness, another level of greatness, it can be pretty damn cool. So I'm going to go get the other head together. Once I get that done, I'm going to adjust the valve lash. Once I get the valve lash done, I can put the rest of it together and start getting this car ready for the installation of the 5.0 to tray. Fifty. Fifty. 
Sí. Un paro. Fetí. Lo saben. Back in now, give it to 60, 5, Take done. Now I'm gonna start rotating more to get the valve lash, put a filter in there, get some oil pumping manually, and see what happens when we get the build going. Stay tuned. Main Pierce up in the building, owner of the beautiful 5.0 Mustang. Got a couple of things I'm gonna walk him through. You already know everything that's in there, but you got the, the MSD, you got the wiring, got the spark, everything's done in the car. I'm gonna go get it washed up because I don't like the way it looks right now. She's dirty. Battery done. I did this here, we added all these extra wires to do a big three, because you have a lot more compression than you did before, a lot more. Sitting at about 180 a cylinder when it's like cool. So it's definitely a different ball game for when you're turning her on. She's not, she could turn on sometime fast, sometimes she could turn on a little bit slow because she could a lot of high, especially when it's hot. But that's pretty much it, but let's do something. Turn on the car. I miss you, girl. You heard the bang too. You got you got double surprise. How about, how about we do something? We go for the first ride. Right. I'm sure, at this point in time, the Mustang is getting ready to go for the delivery. So the rules were given to Mr. Trey. <laughs> Come here, stay in there with that face. The uh, what, what, you, what was that face about? Nervous? Seven thousand dollars later. <laughs> he's, he, he, he's that's not all my fault though. He got those refinished. He ended up adding the long tube headers, correct? Added the new wires, added the uh, the MSD thing to it. Well, they had to. Yeah, you that you had to. You already yeah. jacked from before. Yeah. Spark plug and all that I put in there. Long story short, it's been a journey. Um, it's definitely been a journey. It's actually a beautiful car. My dad is a little wild because I know one of these days my phone's gonna ring. And it's gonna be his, him telling me, "Come and pick up your car." So Trey, cool. you think that's gonna happen for the right price? For the right price. Okay, yeah. what's that price, Trey? Right now, it's at 30. 30 grand. I'm not willing to pay that right now. Look, I, I, I believe in miracles, so that's why I don't care. <laughs> don't let him go outside and give you seven, seven, seven goes around. But uh, I gave Trey the rules. It's a new block, new. I mean, basically a new build. So he's got three to 400 miles to break it in now. Right now, it's running at a zero timing. It will go advanced about 12. But right now, he's just doing his break in and, and getting everything situated, making sure everything's going good. Uh, once that comes in, then the rest is history. So I'm actually, um, I'm proud at the same time. This was a journey, man. In the midst of doing this car, a lot of things happened. My son's the one that took it apart. Uh, he's no longer with the company. Ended up having to put it together myself. And that my wife fell to the ER. 
Uh, it's been a long journey, y'all, but you know what? A lot of blood, sweat, and tears paid off. I love this car. I have emotional attachments to the day he bought this car. Um, I grew up with this car, so to me, it's a privilege and honor to do it. I know once he gets it all timed up in the way it's going to be, he's going to be really excited with it because ain't no camera is going to go and pop you off the light no more <laughs> <laughs> and do that no more. It's not going to happen. This car was 250 horsepower stock, so they came about 160 to 170 to the wheel. You know what I'm saying? You got 250 horsepower on a Toyota Camry now. So, you know, it, it, it's a perspective of what I it was fast me, back in the, the day. V6 hell stop. Yeah. V6 what? Challenges. V6 Challenge. He, has, he also has the, the, the other one. The, SRTA. Which they probably run them one day. But once this gets going, that's not, it's going to be a different build. You're going to have a lot more top end, a lot more high RPM. Before you used to cap out around the 55 range, you got a little bit more RPM or range now. So you'll, you'll get that once it breaks in. But I'm going to get this car signed, still delivered. Wash. That car wash sucked for the record. But the, it's a high pressure rinse and it felt like it was a small hose. But uh, she's done. And in the process, man, I actually did this to this car. Uh, I'll bring it in. I was just in the clutch and I hit the, the, the panel right there in the corner. So I did this to it. So I already got him squared up for this too because he could have got the car painted anyway. But this was me. I didn't get to crack it, thank God. But that was me because I told him and we do what we have to do to get this going, y'all. So thanks. You're going to be out. Uh, Science still delivered, man. Always thank you guys for the support. Let me just uh, get this car rolling out for y'all so y'all can hear her and get it going. Stay tuned. So on this Mustang, we got my guy here. We can't say he's called the Terminator X. You know what I'm saying? He's, uh, no, we're going to call him Titanium, like it says right there. But he's doing the welding of the flanges now. I'm just going to let y'all see it on camera because I can't look at that. But y'all can see a little bit what's going on. I think at this point in time, y'all got the drift of what's going on. He's uh, welding on the flanges to get the rest of the H-pipe on there to be able to allow the headers to connect. And we should have this going out rolling out soon, so stay tuned, y'all. So on the Mustang, you can see we got the muffler already welded on. Connecting pipes are done. Onto his H-pipe, back to his old exhaust. This is coming here with the long tube headers. And we should be having victory and delivery this Mustang. I was hoping to deliver it today, but didn't really work as I planned. The uh, exhaust guy was gonna be here at 10. Uh, he is mobile, he does work for us in the past. So he wasn't able to get here on time and it delayed the whole process. As you can see outside, it's nighttime. And he just got that done. So it is what it is at this point, guys. We at least we got it done. Now on Monday, I could go and button it up, turn it on, let it run for a while, make sure that everything's operating. I got my oil pressures correct. Um, and then I'll be able to deliver it to this customer. So stay tuned on the Mustang build. Now y'all get to hear the baby turn on and chop. That's definitely mine. Josh, watch this. Give it a little go for them. Give it a little go for them.